What is going on, multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for the next multiverses, yay or nay episode. Today is going to be Fred Jones from Scooby Doo. Now, hold on a second, you might say. Didn't we have a poll the other week on the channel? And didn't Neo from The Matrix win that poll? You would be correct, 100%. Fred was also in that poll. Fred was second place. But he wasn't that far behind Neo, so I figured Fred and Neo will both get their own episodes. For some reason, I picked Fred to go first. Don't worry, Neo will get his episode next week, next Sunday. He will get his, but um, for today, we're going to take a look at Fred. Let's see uh, how many people really do want this dude as a playable character. So, quick quick story about Fred. Not really a story, but um, quick info. In, in Scooby-Doo, right, Fred likes to build a lot of traps. He's the trap master, right? So what if that was his play style in multiverses? That could be pretty fun. A setup kind of character? Yeah, that might be kind of fun. That could be kind of fun. So maybe that's the reason I'm doing this. But uh, let's uh, let's take a look at a couple ideas that I came up with for his possible move set, right? So of course, Fred being the trap god, right? He's the trap master. The first attack that I came up with is called this fling trap. Now the the images I'm gonna show are like this giant shovel and it's flinging backward uh, it's flinging a a vehicle backwards but I envision this you know shrunken down sort of shovel fling contraption whatever you want to call it but for this move Fred will place down a trap and when it gets stepped on it will send the opponent flying backwards so that's kind of how uh, I would envision it like it's a simple one this would be very very useful think about this if you place this near ledges or even on platforms, it's gonna make your opponent extremely wary of where they can land. So you knock them off stage and say Fred goes and traps down this fling machine, this shovel, this whatever you wanna call it. He places this near the ledge, but now your opponent is not only gonna have to worry about you coming off stage to come get them, but if they're able to avoid you, well now you got your fling machine just ready to go and they get sent if they get or if they step on that now they're going to get flung back outside off the stage again so it'll be it's like a perfect sort of mind game with the opponent and uh, you can really really mess with them but this would be a really fun move or tool for a move kit to have move number two we're going to call this the the net trap you know the the typical the net comes down from above and uh, you know kind of get entangled in, in it so Another trap idea. Again, hey, if Fred is the trap master, odds are he would have more than one trap up his sleeve for a move set, right? So another possible one. It's a, it's a very, it's a classic one, all right. Another trap idea here would be to have, say, Fred press a, a button on a remote, and then directly above where he's standing, when you press the button, you know, for the attack, this net will come straight down from well above him and if the opponent is underneath it this net will pin down the opponent in any but it may be multiple opponents you know that are caught under that and they will be temporarily immobilized allowing fred to kind of think of his next move right so again say you're say you're at higher kind of damage and your opponent's coming after you and they're like oh, i'm gonna finish off the stock get over here and you're like, oh crap, I need I need something to kind of turn the tide. Well, if you're running away and you pull this out, and now this falling net comes down and pins the opponent, well, just like that, you just turn the tide of battle. Now you could make it in your favor. So this uh, this could really be this could be a really big, uh, a really useful sort of attack. Now again, it should have a pretty decent cooldown, so you can't just spam it over and over because that would be kind of broken, now wouldn't it? So you gotta be gotta be careful about your timing and when you want to use it and all that, but this would still be another really fun trap move idea. Now on to move number three, four, and five, I guess. Like, look, tra trapping would be very fun, but that can't be Fred's entire move set. He needs some sort of, shall we say, basic attacks. Does he even have the capability of basic attacks? Well, of course he does. For example. Fred has been seen doing some sort of this like flying punch, right? Maybe that's like his grounded or side air attack, and you know, just kind of lunge forward and does like a like a Superman punch, that sort of deal. That it, it, it's simple and it works. He's done it, so cool. Uh, what else does he have? Uh, he's been able to do. He, he's done a roundhouse kick. So there you go. That could be a 
I don't know. Maybe that could be the end of his uh, jab combo. You know, it could be like punch, punch, and then roundhouse kick to finish off your three hit jab combo. Your side ground. That would be kind of fun. That'd be fun. Or your side neutral, I guess I should say. So there you go. That, that another fun idea. Uh, what else? Uh, simple throw, I guess. You could you could have him just kind of like throwing an opponent. Yeah, I, I, I suppose that kind of works too. You know, just kind of takes him and just chucks him. We don't really have any characters that do any throw. I mean, Superman. Yeah, sure. But like, you know, like, a, I, I don't know. It's an idea. It's just an idea. We're going to throw that out there. So, uh, yeah, either what, just a couple other ideas for some basic attacks, I guess we'll say. Now let's move on to the alternate costume portion. Now, oh, there's a lot. There's a, <laughs> there's a lot of Scooby-Doo episodes. There's a lot of episodes where they go undercover or they have some sort of disguise. So if you have your favorites, feel free to let me know what that might be down in the comments. But just a couple that I came up with. Here's a simple one. Maybe once Halloween rolls back around. I know it's a long ways away, but uh, the simple skeleton look. You know, just kind of the, yeah, it, it, skeleton look. I, I like it. I think this would be kind of cool. I'd buy this. I might not play Fred a whole lot, but this would be something I would buy. I would rock this out on the battlefield. This looks pretty cool. I don't know. Something about the skeleton looks good to me, I guess. But skeleton look nonetheless. There's an idea. But another one, I guess I'll call this flower power. He wears like this shirt and it's flowery and design and yeah you see you see it this would work i think this works this could be like i don't know a, this would probably be a rare i think this could be a rare this would be maybe the one that like if he came into the game this would be like the first costume that you could purchase with gleamium flower power if you want to call it that but just an idea and again there's many many disguises that you could go with many different looks so yeah feel free to drop your own ideas down in the comments and now a couple ideas for some taunts slash winning animations I, I suppose first up i would love this one i would love this one it's fred says no basically he raises his arms and just kind of goes no you know <laughs> this would be perfect right so you just ko your opponent and you're just like uh-uh nope Nah, you can't get me. You can't get me. You ain't winning this one. This would be a fun one just to kind of pull out and use real quick. I, th I think it'd be pretty good. It would be pretty fun. Uh, next one, I think this might work better for his winning animation. So in this little clip, I guess you could say, uh, he's dancing with Daphne. But what about it's just the dance that he's doing? What if it's just Fred dancing in place? Does that work for a winning animation? Sure. I guess so there you have it and now for the yay or nay portion I'm gonna okay okay I'll be blunt I'm gonna give Fred a nay only 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 because he's not really somebody I'm rooting for to get in I'm not rooting against him but I'm not really rooting for him to get in the game so I'm gonna give him a nay but but I really would not mind it if he came into the game and he was some sort of trap based setup type of character that could be fun that could be fun i would i would like that i think i think i would so if he gets into the game absolutely no complaints but for this series ah yeah i'm gonna have to give him a nay i i don't know I, i'm just i guess yeah simply put i'm just not rooting for him to get into the game that simple either way that is gonna be it for this one that is all i hope you guys enjoyed as always and uh, i guess i'll see you when i'm looking at you Thank <laughs> you.